Good morning everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. Today it's delivery day, we've got all our stuff coming so we've got to see if it actually turns up. We've got to see if it's got all the stuff in there we've ordered because they've been absolutely terrible lately and we are switching supplier. Well I haven't been able to switch yet because the other supplier's been closed because blah blah blah. So we're still using the rubbish one. Um, but it's all we can do for now, it's still providing us with some stuff. So we'll see what happens, we'll see what arrives, so I shall. See you in a sec. Well, well, well. I haven't even turned the lights on and the delivery's arrived. That's not all I ordered. No, no, no. We ordered a lot more than that. Um, a bit disappointing. I'm a bit pain in my bum, they are. Pain in my bum. So we'll see what we've actually got. We know those two are live food and I have to see what we're missing and I have to phone them up and, and complain. Let's try and get the rest of our stuff. So start with a little one and work our way up. Okay, uh -huh. So I ordered a load of stuff so we could do self in Dragon's enclosure. But we can't do it if we've got no stuff, can we? Which is a bit of annoying. Oh, looks like we've got some air plants. Oh, nice little air plants. Oh, oh, oh. At least those are alright. At least they came for us. So we throw this one away, there's everything in there. Yeah, everything is thrown away. Oh. <laughs> Trying to see what that says. <laughs> Go to the next box. Okay, next box. That's going to be it's really, really light, so it's going to be a pain to open. It wants to turn every time we push against it. Come on. Ah. Ooh. Ah, come on. We can do it, we can do it. Who is this ever? Come on. Come on, you can do it, come on, come on. God. You think all this time of opening boxes with one hand, I'd be really, really good at it. But no. The bulb has finally arrived. Finally arrived. Oh, hey. It's only took them two weeks to get it to me. But we're missing tons and tons of stuff. Well, nobody knows where nothing is. I've opened the live food. Look at the state of it. Look at it. So. Fruit flies are open, been thrown around. It's all disgusting. These have open, so yeah, we're not doing the best today. I was thinking the other day, where can we put our Christmas stuff? So it's first year we've had Christmas stuff, so I've just took the tree down, just took the tree, last little bit of Christmas stuff. So the other day when I took all the ball balls and all the stuff, Oh, the tin side has spotted more tinsel. It can stay there. Um, so, I had an idea, because I thought, well, where does your Christmas stuff go? It goes in the loft, doesn't it? Well, I don't have a loft, but we've got a mezzanine floor. Roof. Is it a floor? Roof? I don't know. Well, it is floaty, roofy roof. So, if we oh, come over here, we lift one of these panels up, we should have an attic. Ah. So that's where the ball balls and stuff are. So I'm going to find a spot and we'll see if we can trip the Christmas tree up there as well. Oh. <laughs> now where? We've got one box there, one box there, all safe in the attic, ready to go. 
lovely jubbly. Let's put the roof back on and we'll be ready to go. If we come in tomorrow and the roof's fell in, we just blame Morgan. That's all we do. That's all we do. It's easy peasy. Just blame Morgan. Simples. <laughs> I've had a couple of ideas as well. Um, with the subscribers, we're doing quite well now. and We're slowly, slowly ticking up. Um, so I want to set some goals, basically. Um, so I've had an idea about once we hit, so each thousand we hit, I'm going to do a, re a reasonable giveaway, quite a good giveaway. So when we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're about 700 and something away. Um, we're going to start, we're going to give away different items. The more subscribers we get, the better the item's going to get. Um, so the, when we hit 2,000, we're giving away one of the nice little Art deco -y fish tanks. So because it's glass and stuff like that, it's going to be UK only, I'm afraid. Um, shipping that is going to be a world of problems. Um, I mean, it's going to be one of them things where if you win, I may have to just turn and put your door with it. <laughs> so just so I know it gets there in one piece. But we have that to give away when we hit 2,000 subscribers. When we hit a couple, when we get some more and more and more up, when we get closer to other mark points, I'll, um, we'll, we'll get more and more different ones. But what we're doing, it's not going to be like my other competitions where you comment and like and subscribe and stuff like that. The competition, it's going to be someone who's subscribed to the channel. Um, but, so everyone who's subscribed gets one entry and then we'll pick out of that group of people. If it's in, the UK, if it's in America, we'll sort out something else. Um, if it's somewhere else in the world, we'll sort something else. So if it's the UK, you get your, the fish tank. Um, but what I'm going to do to try and get some more people to join the YouTube, if you join the YouTube, you get an extra five entries into the, the, the draw, basically, for the tank. So if you, if you subscribed, right, there's one for you. But if you subscribe and then you join the tribe, you then get six names in the hat. So your hat name gets put in six times, right? Six times. <laughs> and then, so you get extra chances of winning this, because if you've joined and you happen to support me, you deserve extra chances of winning stuff. So that's another little bonus you'll get. If you join the YouTube, you'll get extra chances of winning all our big giveaways. So. The bigger, the, the higher we get, the bigger the giveaway is going to be. Eventually, I'll be giving away. You never know. Once we get to 10,000 subscribers, you might be giving away a big fish tank like this. When I hit something crazy, we, we I don't know, give away half the shop or something. I don't know. We'll work something out. Um, but yeah, when we get higher and higher, I'm going to get more and more giveaways. We're going to get see if we can get more and more and more people. Um, just see if we can build the channel. Have you <laughs> so as you've seen, the, uh, the European eye desert is getting bigger and bigger, it's doing better and better all the time. I think it's about time we upgraded him into a bigger enclosure. So we haven't had any bearded dragons in for a while, so I'm thinking of cleaning this out um, and upgrading it for the European eye lizard. It's got all the right lights and stuff like that for him. Um, still got the same ceramic bulb as well, so it's not going to be different for him in the basking. Um, so we're going to strip it, clean it, decor it, put the European old lizard in it. That sounds like a plan for today. So we're going to open it, strip it, put him in, bang, bang, bomb, and we're away. So I'm going to crack on, uh, strip it first, and then we got the cool design to do. Waha! Do, 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 do. Get all our nice decor out. Then we can pick some nice new stuff for the European Eyed Lizard. And apparently, there is a little population of them in the UK. Slightly different, um, but it's down on, the, uh, down on the coast. So we may do a little bit of an adventure and go see if we can find some in the wild. That might be a cool little video for us. So we might find out where they are. They may be protected in a protected area, so we may not be able to go and actually find them and, and see them or anything like that. We may be able to get close or something, I don't know. I have to do research, find out what the plan's going to be, if it's actually doable, but I think that'd be a cool little adventure for us, trying to find the only lizard, well, proper lizard, which is native to the UK. Slow worms, 
but they don't really count. Sort of, maybe. Sort of. Semi snake, semi lizard, but the only proper lizard we've got is we have a version of the European Oid lizard. Um, really, really cool, really green and yellows and stuff. So if we get a chance, we will try and they're very, very hard to find and they're very, very rare. So we have to wait till it warms up a little bit. Um, do some more research, see if we can actually, it's an actual area we can go and look at um, and see if it's a good idea. All lovely and clean, so I'm going to start the decor. I'm going to, what I'm thinking of doing is building a lot of it first and then putting the substrate in afterwards to disguise a lot of the stuff we've built. Um, I'm not sure whether we're going to use his log or find a different one. If I find one that's cooler than his, we'll swap logs. If not, I'll pinch his log and then set it up with that one and then move him over. So I've made one. So so all I've done is I've used the log, the rocks, as a base to help angle the log up. So I want it to be slightly raised so, so you can come out and we'll hide all this with, uh, with substrate. We can do the same thing over here. I think we're going to need his big log though, so we might have to convince him to come out of his log. Um, and then put it in here, we might have to give him something to go into because I don't want him to be scared while he's in there. So he just love his log. So we get him a little one to swap him over with. So if we put this in there, he can hide in this one while we're doing stuff with his other one. So if we get the keys, so we might have to lure him out with a bug and then do swaps this. Because he's not gonna come out of there without some convincing. So, oh, okay, okay, we've got Locus. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, Locus. We got him, we got him, whoop. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Sis. Ow. Okay, he's out, he's out, he's out. We take this. And then, knock that bit of dirt off. And then he's in that corner. He's got nowhere to hide now. He's gone into the plant. So we'll put this log in for him. Now give him somewhere else. To... Stop trying to attack. So he's got another hide for now while we do something cool with this one. Got the basic design in now. So that's going to be his, his hide, his good cold end hide, his hot end hide. So now we can disguise these now with some substrate. We've got two choices. We can go cocoa fiber, we can go forest life, or we could go cresty life. Uh, I'm thinking cresty life. I'm thinking. Or just the jungle one, foresty one. Yeah, we we'll go foresty. Foresty ones could be the better option, I think. Um, so I'll we'll open this bad boy, chuck it in. See how much more we need. Oh come on! So I've done the next step, so I've hid all the extra bits with the decor and the substrate, so that gives you an idea of what we've got now. So we've got a nice little bank this end, hiding everything with our nice little log. We've got the same this end, nice little hilly area with our nice little log coming out, giving plenty of hidey holes. We've got to work out what we're going to do in the middle and work out what we're going to do with plants and stuff. We found one of the cool Tancho branches. So was able to do a nice branch between it, so that's added some height to the tank. All we need to do now is water bowls. Uh, I am going to do a feeding platform, just so we've got somewhere for him to come out and maybe try and put some food for him. Um, need a water bowl. We'll be upgrading that to a bigger size, maybe in the next couple of weeks or so as he gets bigger, maybe something he can climb into. Um, fake plants, I've got one here we can use. Um, I'll have to take this off it. So they come with these little rubber things on them, but in the wood tanks then they're not, not good for nothing. They're no good for nothing. So you've got to 
place up here we can place it. So this is going to block a little bit of the UV light, so we've got to adjust it a little bit. There we go, that's better. We want it to block the UV very much if we can. There we go, there's one bush. Let's see if we can get some more. That area, I think we're close to being done. Hey then everybody, are you ready for the big reveal? Oh, 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 I made a noise tank for you. Oh, and for him, to be fair. Um, so, da 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 da. Look at that. Proper cool. Loads of different places for him to hide. Loads of plants. I'm able to utilize one of the plants across the branch to make it look really cool. So I really, really like that. It's really, really nice. Really, really looking good. I'll show you a little tip to do when you're putting moss around. When you're using this, when you come towards the bottom of the bag, there's loads of moss. So you don't just want to go, there we go, there's moss, because that doesn't look right. So what you do is you get the moss, and you go, and you go, and it spreads it all around and chucks it randomly in places and looks like it's just been scattered naturally as it would in the wild. If you're going, I'll put a piece there, and I'll put a piece there, and I'll put a piece, it doesn't look natural because we don't put it in natural places. But if we just chuck it in places, it looks good. So we just chuck it around and it just lands in random places and it looks better than when you just plonk it around. So there we go, all we gotta do is give it a water, some water, give it a spray, and he's ready to go in. Now it's the hard part. The easy part was doing the decor. That's easy peasy. We can just crack on, have a nice little day, making it look pretty. But now we've got the proper job. We've got to get the lizard into the tank. And he's doing better, but we can't just stick our hand in and grab him. A um, couple of ideas I've thought of. We could get some of the court bark panels. We could set it up. Sort of like that and walk him in. I don't think that's gonna be an option though. I really don't, that's probably going to be, I'll spend more time setting it up. Um, another option, just reach around in, grab him, pull him out. Definitely not going to do that. Good chance he'll flip out, they can drop their tails. Um, well, not really drop their tails, it can be dislodged if it gets caught anywhere. Uh, it does grow back though, uh, depending on where it's broke on the tail. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is convince him to go into the log and then just move the log down. I think that's going to be the easiest thing, less stress for him, um, and then we can just keep an eye on him and see how he's doing. At the moment, he thinks we're giving him food. Don't you, sir? He's like, where's my dinner, Alex? And yes, where's my dinner? Oh, dinner? Did you say dinner? Oh, oh, dinner? Hello? Oh, dinner. Ready to go in your new tank then, buddy? Oh... Get in the log then. All the way, go in the log. Come on. Go in the log, little one. Come on, in the logo. Oh, he's come round to bite me. Come on then. You won't bite me long enough. You'll bite and let go. If you're a bit long enough, I'll just pick you up and put you in, but. You need to go in the log. Go in the log. Just running around like no one's business. Oi. Oh, he's in the log, he's in the log. Okay, okay, we'll open this one. Pick this one up. You okay, dude? You okay? There he is in his logo. What? No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. Okay, go in your log. Go in your log. Go in your log. No, 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 not that way. I'm going to have to grab you, mate. I'm going to have to grab you, because if you go over there, I can't do anything. He's not going to like this. Oh! Look at my finger. Look at my wiggly finger. Look at my wiggly finger. No, no, no. No. I'll try and get him quick.
Bang in the bum. It's quite tame now we've got him. He did swing around with his mouth open for a little bit, but he's realised we're not going to hurt him. So we're doing well. We're doing well. Don't you get jealous. Gosh, she's going mad up there. She is. She's going mad. Don't be jelly. Just because I've got somebody else. She's so jelly. She's so jelly. Okay then, buddy. We've got to release you into your tent. You had to run around the shop. We had some fun, but you've got to go back in, okay? Okay. Now stay in the tank. Good lad. Now you have an explore. We're going in the bushes. Yeah, he's getting a big solid lad now. I thought he was smaller than he actually was. But he's uh, he's quite a thick lad now. So I'm happy about that. Big and chunky, but he did escape a little bit, so. But it's all good. So, he went under there. Then he went on top of one of the tanks I've got under there in boxes. Then he started climbing up the polystyrene at the back and I thought I couldn't have that. As soon as, if he gets in the back of these vibs, it's, it's, it's a pain, proper pain. So I thought I can't have that. So as you saw, we went underneath. I stopped him going up, he jumped back down. Almost got a hand on him. He shot and went into there. As soon as he went into there, I just reached in there and I just pinned him and then I grabbed him and pulled him out. And I'm wearing my new jeans, and I've just ruined them. Oh well, I think he's happy. We'll check on him in a minute, see how he's doing. But I think that tank is very nice. Looks at nuts and nuts. He's been doing, the, doing a really good job. Hopefully, we'll be able to find him a forever home soon. That'd be nice. We'll move his price and labels so we know what tank he's in and we don't forget. But that also means we've got an empty tank. Whoa, so we've got an empty two foot. Um, so I think we've only got the Royal that isn't in an enclosure. So, what I'll do is I'll move the Temper Albino into there and I'll move the Royal down so we've got the Royals all in the same spot and then um, we can have the Gecko in there. What we'll do, we'll wait till tomorrow and then we will try and give him some food and stuff like that, see what he thinks. Tomorrow is bonus feeding day, remember? So we're doing bonus feeding day now for our slightly larger animals. So he'll be getting another pinky. Um, Savannah Monitor will be getting extra food. So will the uh, sailfin and so will the uh, black spotted tailed iguana. So bonus feeding day tomorrow. It's gonna be from then on now, we'll have Sunday, Wednesdays and Sundays feeding day. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me because that's all the time I've got for today. So please like, subscribe, comment, no, I just, just said that. Uh, if you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, she's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.